there is nothing lost or wasted in this life. The wise see that there is action in the midst of an action and an action in the midst of action. The soul is neither born, nor does it die. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. One who has control over the mind is tranquil in heat and cold, in pleasure and pain, and in honor and dishonor. It is better to live your own destiny imperfectly than to live an imitation of somebody else's life with perfection. The true goal of action is knowledge of the self. The one who sees an action in action, and action in an action, is wise among men. Whatever you do, make it an offering to me. The food you eat, the sacrifices you make, the help you give, even your suffering. One who is in harmony with oneself is like a flowing river, which is always moving and is always fresh. The self-controlled soul, who moves amongst sense objects, Free from either attachment or repulsion, he wins eternal peace. For him who has conquered the mind, the mind is his best friend. To the illumined soul, the self is all. For one who has failed to do so, his mind will remain the greatest enemy. You have the right to work, but never to the fruit of the work. The mind is restless and difficult to restrain but it is subdued by practice. A gift is pure when it is given from the heart to the right person at the right time and in the right place, and when we expect nothing in return. The ignorant work for their own profit, Arjuna, the wise work for the welfare of the world, without thought for themselves. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. The mind is everything, what we think we become. When a man dwells on the objects of sense, he creates an attraction for them. Attraction develops into desire, and desire breeds anger. The non-permanent appearance of happiness and distress, and the disappearance in due course, are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons. A man's own self is his friend, a man's own self is his foe. The greatest happiness comes from the most profound peace. Perform your duty and abandon all attachment to success or failure. Such evenness of mind is called yoga. One who sees an action in action, and action in an action, is intelligent among men. Reshape yourself through the power of your will. Never let yourself be degraded by self-will. The will is the only friend of the self, and the will is the only enemy of the self. The self-controlled soul, who moves amongst sense objects, free from either attachment or repulsion, he wins eternal peace. Set thy heart upon thy work, but never on its reward. The person whose mind is always free from attachment, who has subdued the mind and senses, and who is free from desires, attains the supreme perfection of freedom from karma through renunciation. To action alone hast thou a right and never at all to its fruits. Let not the fruits of action be thy motive, neither let there be in thee any attachment to an action. A man who sees everything as nothing but the divine self and the divine self in everything never hates anything. He who has no attachments can really love others, for his love is pure and divine. The power of God is with you at all times, through the activities of mind, senses, breathing, and emotions, and is constantly doing all the work using you as a mere instrument. The wise grieve neither for the living nor for the dead. When meditation is mastered, the mind is unwavering like the flame of a lamp in a windless place. The soul that is bound by the limits of the body, thinks, I am the doer. 
the supreme reality is everywhere present, and those who have eyes to see can behold it. The peace of God is with them whose mind and soul are in harmony, who are free from desire and wrath, who know their own soul. Those who are motivated only by desire for the fruits of action are miserable, for they are constantly anxious about the results of what they do. A man who has control over his mind and has subdued his senses can achieve anything in this world. A man is made by his beliefs. As he believes, so he becomes. As the heat of a fire reduces wood to ashes, the fire of knowledge burns to ashes all karma. The mind is everything. What you think, you become. It is better to live your own destiny imperfectly than to live an imitation of somebody else's life with perfection. The secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. The world is a bridge, pass over it, but build no houses on it. He who hopes for anything from the world is a fool. He who has no attachments can really love others, for his love is pure and divine. The mind is restless and difficult to restrain, but it is subdued by practice. Those who are motivated only by desire for the fruits of action are miserable, for they are constantly anxious about the results of what they do. One who has control over the mind is tranquil in heat and cold, in pleasure and pain, and in honor and dishonor, and is ever steadfast with the Supreme Self.